Bengal is very close to temples. Ah, Bengal. This is before it was a temple. Now it's monument.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, Aninga Seo to our Korean friends who've come all the way for this exhibition that we're so pleased to have you in Chennai. I'm not sure about the visionary bit that they just slipped in there, but then I think we've been planning this exhibition along with Madam Ho from KR, Chairperson from KR, we've co-presented. This is the fifth edition. Actually, the first four editions were only Korean contemporary paintings. This is the first edition where we have also included an Indian section. And we could not have done that without the help of Dr. Ashrafi Bhagat, who curated the Indian section. A, a warm round of applause, please. <laughs> and Mr. Kim Injun, who has selected the Korean section of this exhibition. Thank you so much for doing that. Uh, the, this exhibition actually is part of a, of a larger canvas. There were two exhibitions with the same artists but different work at Jeju and in Pusan. And this is now here in Chennai. So it seems like a long journey. They've had a lot of work to do because they've had to look across and select from one and the same artist three different sets of works to be, to be shown. Um, you, you can go back onto the KART site to find out what was shown there. Here we will be having a special catalogue which will be released with this work and there will be an e-catalogue as well. I just want to say that it's, it's quite emotional actually coming back to a gallery. The last edition of the biennial was 2019, after which COVID struck and everything went online because of the imperatives of the COVID pandemic. Of course, we uh, adapted, we tried to do 3D technology, we tried to do all kinds of things online with an online gallery called PRISM. But nothing can quite match this, of being in a gallery with the artist, with the creative expressions, as well as with viewers interacting. That energy is something else. So a big thank you to Shovan Kumar for opening up the gallery and for having it all spruced up and for allowing us to show this uh, exhibition here. And we really hope that visual spaces and the visual connect continues with nothing coming in to disrupt it. So I would like to, on this very special occasion, just say one or two words about the transformative power of art. I think that's what kept us during the, the very difficult days where artists continued working, curators continued thinking and writing. There were opportunities for us as organizers to allow or galvanize some kind of connect, not lose it at all. So all of you being here is very important as part of that network. Without you, there is no show. Without the artists, there is no show. So it is a transformative journey that we are going on together. So thank you very much for your presence. I'm going to hand it back to Mathura just now because there's a couple of things we go through, after which we come to a very special segment at the end. We'll talk about that in just a bit. Thank you. Hello everybody. Only the kit kit in Jari and Mandro to Shin, Uri Pandani, Lati, Uri or Tunyan Sanikati, 
이렇게 나와 주셔서 매우 매우 감사합니다. Thank you for everything. You guys prepare a big, a very a memorable preparation for this Chennai Biennale. Special thanks to Lati, the Chancellor, and you. Thank you so much. 이번에 전시는 굉장히 의미가 있는 전시라고 생각합니다. 어, 한국 인도 수교 50주년으로 맞아서 한국 작가 25명, 어, 인도 작가 25명, 그래서 50주년을 기념하는 마음으로 아티스트 50분을 모셨습니다. 근데 이래 좋은 작품들을 내주셔서 아티스트님들 굉장히 감사드립니다. Thank you so much, especially its memory and this is a celebration of 50 years of friendship. Artists in India and Korea, we choose 25 in each country and we invite here and this is very memorable and honorable moment right now. Thank you so much. This is from a long time ago from the guy who is on this gallery and it has been a lot of historical moment and this is very thank to both of you last and exist and the present Chancellor. Thank you so much. 베스트 우리 우먼들이 오셔서 어, 이렇게 다례식을 할 건데 나중에 한번 깊이 봐주시고 또 흥미롭게 봐주시면 감사하겠습니다. We prepare a very uh, special surprise for Indian audience, including Korean. We prepare for a Korean traditional tea ceremony, which is not rarely happening even in Korea. So we bring here a very special moment for Korean traditional a ceremony, why don't you stay here and taste of what Korean tea ceremony like? Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much again about the curator, both countries, and then uh, who invited and involved this artist. Thank you so much. Thanks. Thank you so much. Good evening, everyone. And thank you very much for being here. At the outset, I think I would like to first thank uh, Rati for giving me this opportunity. And uh, before I begin anything, uh, good evening to all the dignitaries present here. And uh, of course, uh, Madam Ho, who is the chairperson of K Art International, and who was responsible for taking me, or rather, getting me there to Busan, which was a beautiful experience. Uh, coming to the duration of the show, it was a little tricky to get 25 artists from across the country. I had to think of various things. I had to think of uh, their language, their artistic vocabulary, and also the various mediums that they have worked with. For me, there has always been a fasc fascination with material and how different materials help artists to shape their concepts. And so that is uh, what uh, also was at the forefront of my curating. So the artists are from across the country and uh, they are from various places like Noida, Gujarat, uh, Ahmedabad, then uh, Varanasi, Nagpur, uh, coming to Karnataka my, uh, from Bangalore, and of course most of the artists are from Chennai. So it's uh, actually a mixed bag of artists who have a different visual language and the way they have presented it. Now my concept note was a perceptual ode. This is a kind of paying a homage to their perception, how they perceive the environment, how they interpret it, because perception is not something one feels about, but perception is something one thinks about, interprets it in a cognitive manner, in an intelligent manner, and so how each artist has transformed whatever they have seen, whether it is nature, their environment, their culture, 
their traditions and that is what has been brought to light here in most of the canvases. Uh, India, of course, is a very rich country of heritages and uh, diverse traditions. And uh, these artists have drawn out threads and woven the tapestry with their creative imagination as well as from their empirical experiences, which is their own experiences. So here it, one will see a wide variety of medium. There is watercolor, there is uh, acrylics, there is mixed medium. There is also where there is one artist particularly who has made use of textile, beads, embroidery and another who has worked with collage, another who has worked what is in front of us, watercolors, amazing watercolors which looks almost like photographs and uh, how these artists have been able to interplay and interface with various aspects of their experiences and their environment. So this is what basically uh, my idea of a perceptual ode is, where I celebrate their imagination, their creativity, their expressions, their emotions, sentiments, feelings, because no canvas is ever without feelings. It is a part of the artist's soul which is very much invested into their canvases or whatever uh, support they use. So this is what basically is, but before I end, I would like to thank particularly Gail and Wayne, who were rock support in organizing this, and especially for me, you know, where they gave me all the logistic support that was so essential to keep me going, because, I mean, uh, these are, uh, what do you call it, uh, logistics, which is very difficult to handle for me. And so it was done very well by both of them. So thank you very much. And thank you, Rati, for this opportunity. And thank you, Madam, for having given me this opportunity to curate the show. So thank you very much. And I hope you'll enjoy the show. Hello, everybody. My name is Kim In Jin. Uh, uh, Alfonso Arodoso, Kurigo, Lum Palani Apan, Isik Temune, Kulungan, Jesir Hasuin, Tangsori Barin, Joseph. India uh, has a very famous old artist. I'm so sorry his name, I cannot pronounce it very well. But Alfonso Palani, I'm sorry, I'm an engineer, so. Anyway, those two fantastic artists in India make today. Uh, it is possible because we have a big supporter like uh, Tribasan, Chairman Chair, Tribasan from TV and Chancellor Lati, all audience for all your supports we have come to you today. Thank you. 그러나 모든 것의 그 주인은 우리 아티스트입니다. 예. This, but all things belong to artist, each artist who made this Biennale. 오늘 한국에서 작품을 uh, 개성 있게 뽑았습니다. Uh, I create a very extraordinary and I chose very carefully a very distinct artist. 인도 작품도 굉장히 개성이 돋보였습니다. Indian artist is also a very decentering and very interesting artist. I chose. Please enjoy. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Manakam, Adyanashimika. Yeah. Uh, first, uh, I would like to uh, congratulate the opening of the 5th edition of Chennai Biennial. And I'm, I'm very surprised to see uh, so many Korean artists who uh, uh, traveled to Chennai from Korea. Uh, welcome to Chennai. <laughs> uh, thank you for arranging this wonderful event. Uh, my thanks goes to, uh, in particular, to uh, Dr. Lati and to curators and many artists. 
uh, as you uh, mentioned by others, uh, this year, uh, last year, is the 50th anniversary of Korea's diplomatic relations between uh, Korea and India. So we have achieved a lot so far, in uh, politically and economically. In particular, people-to-people uh, uh, -people exchange and cultural uh, cooperation. I want to uh, mention the importance of cultural cooperation. Because economic issue is the matter of benefit, the material thing. But the uh, cultural cooperation touch upon the connection, uh, connecting the mind and mind of two countries. So in order to be a real close partner, understanding each other, we should have a, a closer, more closer cultural cooperation. Uh, I want to uh, expect much more programs from the INCO Center. <laughs> And thank you for coming. Please enjoy this event. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay? 
From now on, our members will serve you and tea and food. Enjoy your time. You are deserved to taste. Thank you so much. Audience, thank you so much. Indo가 처음이라 되게 많이 설레고 기대도 많이 됐었는데 많은 분이 와서 되게 집중 있게 봐주시고 제 그림의 스토리에 대해서 관심을 가져주셔서 너무 좋았습니다. 사원도 많고 어떤 영적 에너지나 어떤 그런 기운들이 좀더 강하게 느껴지는 작품들이 많았던 것 같습니다. 어, 뭔가 제 그림에 대한 흥미도나 이런 걸 보면서 아, 좀더이 작업에 대한 얘기도 공감해 주셨기 때문에 제 작업을 좀더 차근차근 오랫동안 이 이야기를 좀더잘 풀어낼 수 있는 방법을 연구해야겠다라는 동기부여를 얻게 되었습니다. 어, 2023년은 우리 대한민국 청룡, 청룡의 해입니다. 그래서 청룡과 백호로 도를 갖고 왔는데 어, 청룡이라 하는 것은 우리가 어두운 곳과 어, 구름에서 이렇게 나타나는 것이 또 계시지만 은 아주 밝은 희망찬 미래에서 나타나는 그런 청룡을 갖고 왔습니다. 라띠와 어, 우리 국제 교, 어, 저, 교류라는 문화 교류는 처음에는 어, 보통 사람이 생각하는 문화 국제적인 교류다 형식적으로 시작한 것이 지금은 정말 깊이 마음속에서 우러나고 서로를 아끼고 서로를 배려하는 그런 교류가 됐다고 봅니다. 그리고 오늘 되게 반가운 것은 어, 빨라니아 반 어, 예전의 라리칼라 간장이었죠. 그리고 이제 남인도 수장이기도 했었지만 오늘 그 빨라니아 빤이 와주신 거에 대해서 굉장히 기쁘고 그다음 그때 우리가 처음 시작한 마음으로 작가들이 그때 작가들이 오늘 다 찾아와 준 거에 대해서 굉장히 감사드립니다. Okay, the Chennai Biennial is a program that we hold once in two years, and the four editions focused on Korean contemporary art. This year we have Indian and Korean art. because it is the 50th anniversary of Indo-Korean relations. 
So this exhibition has 25 Korean works and 25 Indian works. And it's a fabulous opportunity for artists to exchange their best practices and share with us their creativity. Uh, this is an exhibition which we series which we've been presenting with K Art International as a co-presenter. They are a very valuable partner, and it gives us an opportunity to look at emerging trends, new techniques, the kind of material that artists use, and it gives a good idea to anyone who visits the exhibition of the current state of play in India and Korea. 어, 뭐, 먼저 이렇게 굉장히 반갑고 놀랍습니다. 이렇게 수많은 이렇게 어, 아티스트들께서 오셔가지고 아주 격조 높은 한국의 문화 이번 또뭐 미술과 또 다도와 이런 걸 보여주시니까 사실 한국 인도 사람들이 한국의 편입니다. 특히 남인도 첸나이 사람들 제가 와서 엄청나게 놀랐습니다. 얼마나 한국을 사랑하는지요.